say you guys are adequately warmed up. Are you ready to see who you came here to see? He's been making waves all over the LA comedy scene. Fresh from living in Tokyo, he's come back to grace us all. One of the funniest people I've ever met. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Mr. Remy Diaz. Hey, I know it's short notice, but is it cool if I crash here for a few days? Do you? You're supposed to be in like Tokyo playing house husband. Secured that bag, right? Well, I don't have a house, and according to international law, I'm not gonna be a husband no more. Let me get this right. You got no house. You got no wife. You got no job. You got no money. Stop. No, 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 no. You got nowhere to be. No prospects. No kids. No fucking legacy. I get it, Sergio. Okay. All right. Fuck. Well, why'd you split? I don't know. Maybe she got sick of me. Maybe she met a nice Japanese farm boy who taught her the true meaning of Christmas or some shit. All I know is that one day I go out for groceries, I come back home, and there's a lawyer waiting to serve me divorce papers. All I'm hearing is that in 10 years, you never figured out the true meaning of Christmas. That's like why 95% of people get divorced. Ain't you ever seen a fucking Hallmark movie? Bro, you know the worst part is? The dude that served me the papers was American. They flew that fool over the Pacific just to ruin my day. Super funny. Now don't laugh at my pain. Mira, mira, mira. Imagine that's you. You go to your office in your nice suit and tie, and your boss comes up to you and says, hey, why don't you take a 13-hour flight over the Pacific just to give some dude the finger? <laughs> hey, shit. Well, look, I'm sorry, and you can definitely chill here if you have to, but there's a Best Western across the street, dude, and they got free Wi-Fi. They got complimentary breakfast. Yo, they don't even got bed bugs no more. Booked up. What about staying with my moms? Doesn't my sister live in Fresno now? Okay, yeah, fair point. Look, Sergio, I'm sorry to spring this on you, but once you get divorced over there, you need a reason to stay in the country. I didn't have a visa or nothing. All I know is I get divorced, and they're on my ass like, we got an unmarried beaner in the country. Repeat, we have an unmarried beaner in the country. Send back up. Next thing I know, I'm back here. Shit, at least there's an upside. You're fucking single now, dude. The whole city is your oyster. And you know what goes great with seafood? <laughs>
the same. You're here with me. How do you... How do you not hate it? That we're here together. And for you, it's... It's almost over. Mm. Uh, oh, my fuck. Hey, fuck you, Sergio. I'm going to bed. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. There's blankets by the couch. <laughs> Eat shit. But also, thank you for letting me stay here. <laughs> Anytime. Anytime. Hey, if that is an ice cream man, will you give me one of the fucked up Spongebobs? <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, big strong man! Oh. oh, morning, sweetheart. There's 4 p.m. Christ, I tried not to wake you up, but I guess I'm just too big of a strong man. Nah. You're straight. I guess tequila doesn't cure jet lag. How can you even think about working out? I feel awful. Nah, dude. I never get hangovers anymore. I wake up every time feeling fine. <laughs> oh, I fucking hate you. I mean, look at you. Last night you were talking all this shit about how you think you're running out of time. And mean, meanwhile, you got it made. I mean, look at this place. How did you even get it? <laughs> That's the YouTube money, man. Sponsors pay more than you think, especially when you're a corporate show. And stand-up pays out every now and then. Since when do you do stand-up? Like, six months? Yeah, I remember watching you do it when I was a kid. You were funny. <laughs> what happened, dog? Oh, go fuck yourself, Sadio. <laughs> nah, but for real, I remember watching you as a kid, and that shit made me want to try it out. So, thank you. Also, what are you doing tonight? Uh, Jack and shit, why? I got a show in like three hours. You should roll through. Jesus, how many of those are you taking? What are you, a cop? What's your opener? All right. You, you, what do you, what do you do for a living? Boo, pinche perro! Don't you think you should maybe warm the crowd up a little bit? You open with crowd work? What, the, what, what, what else you got? Okay. Uh, all right, so the other day, my girl realized that if I died on top of her, she wouldn't be able to work her way out. I mean, that's okay. It's kind of funny. At least there's a punchline. Sort of. Oh, wait. I think I got it. No, for real. Who would have thought that a country that hates women wouldn't understand vaginas? So my friend comes up to me, 23-year-old guy, and he's like, hey, you know pads? I'm like, yeah, I'm familiar. And he's like, did you know that you put it in the underwear, not on the bits? This motherfucker thought that we were putting on pads like a fucking pussy band-aid. <laughs> So I see he's a lost cause, and I want to mess with him a little bit more. So I go to my bathroom, and I pull out the thing of pads marked L. <laughs> <laughs> and I hold both up and go, hey, did you also know that we use a left and a right one? I broke that, man. So that's it for me. My name is Lupe Serrano. The next comic is incredibly funny, one of my favorite people to watch live. Please give a warm welcome to Sergio Diaz. Thank you. I'm still trying to figure out what the L and the R are for. My girlfriend told me that L stands for Life Club and 
R stands for run, motherfucker! <laughs> get out of here! It's only going to get worse from here! <laughs> I love that bitch. <laughs> so earlier today, me and my girlfriend are lying in bed, and she goes, hey, dude, I want you to lie on top of me and let go of all of your weight so that way I can see if you died while fucking me. If I could crawl my way out. And she could not. Have you ever had an evacuation drill for sex? Have you ever had to look a woman in the eye and be like, I'm sorry, I guess his dick is in OSHA compliant. What do you, I tried to save it too, dog, because I was like, you said you were into choking. This is more efficient. <laughs> Was not a fan of that. Jesus Christ. I do feel better about myself though. I just found out my sister's therapist ghosted her. <laughs> what kind of special Hey, that was funny. It worked better than I thought it would. <laughs> Thanks, Dick. Look, you helped a lot too, alright? That opener, it killed, man. Hey, it's in the genes, fool. The comedy just flows through. Hey, thank you. You too. Hey, that new closer? Beautiful. Thank you. Tengo una pregunta. No voy a estar disponible el próximo viernes y no puedo presentar el open mic. Do you think you could cover for me? It'll be a decent paycheck. We? I, um, I can't. I got a show in Hollywood. Oh, sorry. I wasn't ignoring you. I'm Lupe. Remy. Did I overhear that you helped Sir with his opener? That comedy flows through you? Nah, I'm pretty sure it's one of the other Mexicans back there. Listen, en verdad, necesito a alguien para presentar. Open mic is where we get most of our revenue. I appreciate it. It's very nice of you, but I haven't done this in a long time, and I just met you. I don't want to fuck it up for you. Okay, no worries. I wonder if Mango is still around. What the fuck are you doing, man? I haven't done this shit in forever, okay? I don't know how to work a mic anymore. You wrote me a killer line in what, 20 minutes? Just fucking practice, dude. No, you are not gonna tell her I'm gonna do it, okay? Because if you tell her I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna bomb, okay? If I bomb, I'm gonna cry, okay? And if I cry, I'm gonna ruin everybody's fucking time. You know what, it's out of your hands now, dog. Hey, Lupe, accepto, he's in. Sick, text me his number and I'll call him. Got it. What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you, Doc? All right, I'm gonna be real, fool. You look like shit, and you act like a fucking baby. Get your life together, clean up your act, and put on a goddamn show. Oh, I'm sorry I just got divorced, and I'm a little sad about it. I'm a little fucking sad. Then fucking use it, Doc, all right? The first thing we did when you got here was make fun of that shit. Now you got a whole week to write a set, and it's a fucking open mic, my guy. The pressure is in the negatives. I'm doing this to help you, Theo. Fucking accept it. Thank you, Serge. You're welcome. Hey, is that beer any good? No, it's terrible. You should try it. <laughs> Thank you.